We're looking at Psalm 121, verse 7. So let's read that now. Adonai yishmorcha mekol ra, yishmor et nafshecha. Okay, so we begin with Adonai, the Lord. We have yishmorcha. So we have a yod prefix and a hirik. And then under R1, we have this silent schwa. So this is telling us that we are looking at a we are looking at a cal imperfect and the pronominal suffix just sort of jumps out at us. There's nothing else that has a ka at the end except a 2ms pronominal suffix. So that's a no-brainer. And so there's no imperfect ending here. We have a 3ms yishmor uh, ka and this is a, this theme vowel is a short O. It's a kametz hatuf rather than a long A kametz. Yishmor ha. And then uh, mikol ra. We have from all evil. And so this is shamar. So we have the Lord will keep you, as usually happens with a finite verb, like an imperfect, with a pronominal suffix. The pronominal suffix is the object. The Lord will keep you from all evil. Yishmor, this is a standard Cal imperfect 3MS. Yishmor et nafshecha. And of course, this is a segalit, nefesh, with a pronominal suffix. The Lord, uh, he will keep, Cal imperfect 3MS, he will keep your soul or your life. Let's move on down now to Deuteronomy 9.3. Let's read Deuteronomy 9.3. The Yadata Hayom ki Adonai Elohecha hu haover lefanecha esh ochla hu yashmidem vhu yachniem lefanecha. We begin with something we saw earlier, which is a vav consecutive perfect. We see the accent on the last syllable. That's what that little L-shaped thing is marking here. It's just an, one of the Masoretic accents, and it's on the accented syllable. We are looking at a vowel consecutive perfect, future tense. Sometimes it has the idea of an imperative, especially in second person. We have this nice, perfect second masculine singular ending. So, and you know, or perhaps, and know today. So, and you know today, Hayom, Ki Adonai Elohecha, we have the Lord your God, Hu Haover. He, and then we have a pretty obvious Cal participle here. We've got a article in front of it, and it's got the comments because it's in front of a guttural, ayin. Ha over, over is sort of a classic participle, cal participle, with the R1 vowel holum, and then the R2 vowel, the theme vowel, is a sere, over. And so you put that together, and you have the one who is passing over. So he, and then we're going to supply an is here, he is the one who is passing over lifanecha before you. It's just lifne with a pronominal suffix, a 2ms pronominal suffix. So starting from the beginning, and you know, or and know today, that Yahweh your God, he is the one passing over before you. And now we have esh ochla. Esh is fire. And this is a feminine noun, fire. And here we have ochla. This is, again, we see the holum, R1 vowel. That's telling us we have a participle here. And notice that it's akal, and that is to eat or to consume. And then we have the hape suffix, which is telling us that it is a feminine singular participle, which matches esh, the feminine noun. And so we have a fire 
consuming, or we would say a consuming fire. He is the one passing over before you a consuming fire. And we have the pause here. We have the Zakev Katon telling us we have a little pause. Then who, Yashmidame, so he, and then Yashmidame. Well, a couple of things are telling us this is a Hifiel. First of all, we have the characteristic Hirik Yod theme vowel, but more importantly, we have a imperfect prefix with a Patach prefix vowel. And so that's telling us Hifiel. Here we see a maim after the end of it, and so we have a Hifiel imperfect, and maim, of course, is not one of our imperfect endings, so we're thinking pronominal suffix now. And so there is no imperfect ending. All we have is the pronominal suffix. So the fact that there is no imperfect ending tells us we have a third masculine singular. The yo tells us third masculine, and then no ending tells us masculine singular. Finally, we have a 3MP pronominal suffix. And so he and shamad in the hifiel means to destroy. So yashmi dame, he will destroy them. So the 3MS matches the masculine singular pronoun here, he. He will destroy them. And the separate who before the two verbs, yashmi dame and yachniem, tells us that who is being emphasized. He himself will destroy them. Or we might just say he will destroy them, emphasizing that word he. Vahu yachniem. And so again, very similar. We have the same prefix yod, prefix vowel, patach, the same hirik yod theme vowel, and we have the same pronominal suffix. The verb kana means in the hifil to subdue, and so, and he will subdue them, lifanecha, before you. So let's go and back and read that. And you will know, or and know today, that Yahweh your God, he is the one passing over before you, a consuming fire. He will destroy them, and he will subdue them before you.